I think it's, it's um, we don't think, let me start by saying, we don't think there is a liquidity crisis. Uh, the industry is funded, the midstream of the industry is funded by some 13, 14 billion dollars. And if you look at the overall business, we believe that this is, uh, this is sufficient to fund this industry. Um, I think there's, there's um, been some noises about Indian banks, there's been some noises about whether um, one of the Israeli banks is looking to get out of the industry or not. So there is some uncertainty and there are some noises, but I think the one thing to, to take into account is we don't think there isn't sufficient money, but what we do think is that with Basel II, with Basel III, there's going to be much more requirement for transparency in the midstream of the diamond industry and there's going to be a requirement for equity and, and, and clear equity so the banks can actually fund based on the existing equity. And I think um, it's, it's that that is creating a lot of noise and it's that where the industry will have to up its game. As far as the Indian uh, industry is concerned, we've been to India a couple of months ago, we met with over 40 banks and, and I think overall they are not necessarily uh, they are not necessarily going to um, change or, or reduce the amount of money, but they're also not necessarily uh, going to give more at this stage. But the industry is quite stable as far as liquidity. I think moving into the future as the business evolves, what will need to happen is we'll need to see people making their business more efficient. So looking for efficiencies, looking for quicker turnaround so that the money is working wiser than it is today possibly. But if people learn how to do that, so if they become more transparent, if they actually look for efficiencies in the supply chain, and if they are turning their capital faster and getting the money to work harder for them, I think we have sufficient equity, sufficient bank debt in the business. So if we start with the consumer 2012, albeit a difficult year, has actually seen uh, consumer demand growing by 3%, which was driven by a solid growth in the United States, by 10% in China, and by 6% in Japan, and, and, and a little bit in, in other places. So, even though not at the high pace as we were all expecting it to be, consumer demand is still growing. And what started at the end of last year with Diwali and with Christmas continued into this year with Chinese New Year, Mother's Day. The first quarter results for the American retailers that are publicly listed have just been announced over the last week or 10 days and they are actually very positive. So we're seeing demand continuing driven from the United States. So the United States is definitely looking very solid and we're also seeing the economy is giving some great signals of, of, of indicators going in the right direction. And, and it's also driven by China. And we've seen India performing much better in the first quarter of this year compared to last year. I don't know if you remember, but first quarter last year, the Indian retailers went on strike because of the introduction of a, of a, of a tax. And the Indian retailers were shut for business for almost a month. So when we compare first quarter this year to first quarter last year, the Indian retailers are doing better as well. So that is then driving the demand. And when we move into WAF, then obviously we're seeing the Chinese goods are very much in demand, the Indian goods are in demand, and the American goods are in demand. We're seeing demand for uh, larger um, stones definitely coming back. So I think altogether it's quite a balanced market and it is a steady growth, I think that's quite nice. We don't like big shocks, we don't like huge spikes and, and, and declines. So in a way, last year with 3% demand growth, this year we believe demand is going to grow by more than 3%. So we are actually seeing steady growth, which is a really great market to be in, and we are cautiously optimistic. Well, I think our production is flat, but we are not the only producer in the world, so there is going to be a supply available from other, other um, mining companies and other producers around the world. And we think that uh, because last year the, the expectation or the forecast was for a slightly bigger than 3% demand growth, with, with a flat production if the rest of the world has the same as us, then actually that compensates for what happened at the end of last year. So I think we're still very much, supply demand is very much in balance and, and we believe that we are going to have 
I mean, and if consumer demand goes this year by greater, so five, six percent, whatever that may end up being, that is going to put us in a better position to 2014.